let's talk about line. If I want to use line after I've downloaded it, if I go to the source directory, if I want to use line for my current operating system, again, this is if it's identical to the target. It's not for using this on the subject machine. That's a very bad idea to be out compiling stuff. So here, I will assume it's the same. In my case, it's actually not. If I do a uname-a, you'll see that I'm running a 318 kernel, whereas my subject system is running a 316. But let me just show you how easy this is. So if you're using the same system, just run make. And it will go out and run make, and it's done. And notice at the very end, it says, I have moved your Lime KO file to this place. So that's all you have to do in order to build for your current system. If I want to make for a different kernel, I just run make dash capital C slash lib modules 3.16.0 and we'll go with dash 31 generic. I think that's the right architecture for my target. And underneath this, I need to go to build. So that's the full path that I need. Lib, module, my kernel version, build. And then I say M, again, capital M, equals dollar sign PWD. I run my make, and it's been built. Now, one thing to note here, it has not rename my Lime file. So I'm going to go ahead and do that manually. I'm going to move line okay, up to line dash 316.0.31 dash generic. Just to remind myself that dot ko that that is the updated version. So now you see I have two Lime files. And I can do this for other kernels as well. Well, that's all for this video.